You may have heard about the houseplant craze that's permeating all corners of the internet with beautifully curated arrangements that bring the outdoors in. But what if you aspire to roll up your sleeves and start a garden outside? This week, we're rewinding to 1975 to learn about the oldest gardening program produced for television in the US, the Victory Garden. Welcome to WGBH's The Rewind, where we're exploring the public media archives one great find at a time. This week, we're digging up items from the archives that show how the Victory Garden went from seed to broadcast. So we want to know, do you have a garden? And if so, what's your favorite thing to grow? Let us know in the comments or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. So imagine, it's 1975. You're Bell bottoms are deep in the weeds, and you're wondering where your beautiful harvest is going to come from. Enter The Victory Garden, a show from WGBH that taught viewers how to garden like no seed catalog could. So let us take you into the archives to see a collection we believe you'll love. So tell us a little bit about what we have. Well, Ben, I don't know if you realize it, but WGBH is the pioneer in what they call how-to programming, which is how do you cook, how do you sew. Um, think French Chef with Julia Child, This Old House, and what we're gonna talk about today, the Victory Garden. I wanna talk about just the beginnings of how you get a show off the ground. Okay. You can take a look. And what we're seeing here is them actually building the initial Victory Garden which was housed in next to the WGBH studios on 125 Western Avenue. They dug up the parking lot they literally, and, put, and put in a garden plot. That's they what they did. They literally got the show mm -hmm. off the ground. Off the ground. And one of the really cool things that you're seeing here, the man in the hat, is Russ Morash, who is the executive producer and creator of not only Victory Garden, French Chef, This Old House, and many others. He's been called the father of the how-to programming on television. And James Crockett was chosen because he was a local Massachusetts gardener. And here's a picture of him in the greenhouse when it was done. And here he is helping to build the greenhouse. This is actually question and answers from a January show. Okay, so we have Question, can we start a tree from the seeds of a banana? This is ambitious for New England. Answer, the seeds from edible bananas are sterile and won't grow. You can buy the seeds of an ornamental banana that will grow very, very rapidly. Try the George Park Seed Company in Greenwood, South Carolina. This is just the most like direct and to the point um, piece of advice. This is great. But then a year, they got a little more creative. And so we get some beautiful things like this. And these are um, illustrations that they got from the Massachusetts Horticultural Society Library. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to point out is by week nine of year two, Victory Garden is not just located in the studio or next to the studio. Okay. So they went national very quickly. By the end of the run, by the end of the 36 seasons, they had basically gardens all around the country that they would report in from. And I just wanted to leave all of us with a nice, neat little tip from year one, from August 1976. And I'll let you read. This bottom one? The bottom one. All right, we have, should we remove some blossoms from our melon plants to get bigger fruit? I don't remove blossoms from melon plants, preferring to let nature take its course. You won't get more than two to four fruit from any one plant, so relax and enjoy your garden. And I think that's the key. Relax and enjoy your garden. It's good advice for us all. That's right. Thank you for coming. Of course. Thank you. Thanks for spending some time with us in the vault today. And special thanks to our own Digital Garden Club for sharing their plants with us. You can watch episodes of The Victory Garden's Edible Feast on WGBH Passport at WGBH.org. Uh, let us know what you discover in the comments or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. Thanks again for unwinding with us on The Rewind, and we'll see you next week in the archives.